Haven't I seen your face someplace before? Must have been while I was dreaming of paradise. Heaven is missing an angel for sure. <laughs> The Song Murder Club actually came about around about the end of 2011 and um, I guess I'd been working away and kind of looking around for maybe a type of meet-up group and I, I'd come across Keith from his shows and radio and um, West Dublin Access Radio and I'd mentioned to him, you know, is there no kind of group set this way? Maybe we can get one set up. And he was like, oh, all for us. He was like, yeah, that's a great idea. Get some songwriters. There's loads I know. Why not tell them to meet in one place at one particular time and we'll take it from there. And that was back in about October 2011. Yeah, that so, was, yeah. yeah. And we used to like meet in random places and stuff like yeah. the village and uh, the Morgan Hotel. And yeah. then finally in March of 2012, we actually got this venue, the Teacher's Club. And mm-hmm. it's really great because we have our own private room and we get to, yeah. we get to do our stuff. We, we chat uh, with other singer-songwriters. We get them to collaborate with each other they're all kind of set up their own gig nights and stuff yeah, now yeah. and we've been lucky enough from then on we've been able to get some guest speakers and uh, they talk about their stuff in the industry whether they're from organizations or other groups like ourselves and um, we chat about uh, what's going on in the industry you know where should we play gigs you know what radio station should we visit we talk about all sorts of stuff Time, kind of the first half of the meeting is kind of an informal chat the second half of the meeting we've kind of introduced a whole uh, sing song kind of thing we might get into groups and sing songs or get into groups and write and uh, try and co-write songs some some groups come out uh, really badly and there's always one or two that come up with a really good song yeah. Yeah. and so things like that happen as well so we've been lucky with all that yeah I um, know it's, it's it's just a great way for people I suppose if they are doing alone or they're in a little band or something like that they just kind of say well, what are you up to, and how are you finding this? Yeah. And even for contacts, and we all know, like it's a music, the music business. It's all about getting to know people and know who's doing what. Yeah. And so it's great that we get the chance, I suppose, to kind of um, talk about stuff, share the information, say, well, I find this person really helpful. Understand what each organisation does, I guess. You know, it, like the likes of Emro Rap and all that, and have people in from those associations. And then after that, obviously, it is fundamentally about the songs and the music, and it's always nice to be able to get a chance to maybe explore them, hear people play, or maybe somebody might want to try out a song in the group, which we'd never, you know, if that's what somebody wants to come bring their guitar um, and try a song out, we'd be happy to kind of sit and listen and get, let everybody give them a chance to, to hear it, you know. A, like a real mixture of guests. We obviously try to get people in from the, like, sort of the big organisations that we'd be, I suppose, dealing with as songwriters, like Emro. Um, um, ESCA, and um, we also have had people in from companies that maybe that would support you in the process of making a CD or you know like you know obviously producing a physical CD or recording studio people mm-hmm. so we try to kind of incorporate I guess all the different aspects uh, of the industry aspects, yeah. yeah and the different people that we would deal with I guess and from the people who look after the music and the royalty end of things and um, we're actually working on the whole process of the actual music breaking yeah. it all down for everybody so the Step things, that, yeah, the things that you need to do yeah, to in order yeah. to get your yeah. CD or whatever you need to get done as well so that's kind of and hopefully this year, and I'd love it because we, we did talk about it before, um, and it's definitely in the cards. Thank for this year to get more established musicians in, you know, so so songwriters and bands that have actually kind of even independently, preferably, have made that leap up where they've gone, they've really pushed, pushed, pushed for their careers and and, and have broken through, and um, to get some of them in as well to kind of maybe give their a bit of knowledge, maybe even do a performance or whatever. But nice to get a couple of uh, musicians in this year as well, and and. Uh, not so much of the business, maybe just opening up night to some more musicians. That would be great as well mm. for, for this year as well. And have you gotten any feedback then from people who come to it? You know, do, you think, do they think it's going well? You know, well, I guess the fact that we are doing it now nearly three years, I suppose, it's a sign that there's obviously the demand there, and it's nice that you would see some of the regular faces at every meeting, and then. There's always new faces, which is <laughs> nice as well. So you kind of you might see somebody one month and then you don't see them for two more meetings or whatever. I guess it depends on their um, how busy they are yeah, on their schedules. Yeah. yeah, but generally the feedback is that you know it's nice to have that place to come together and and uh, get it all out there and chat about it and bond see what bond yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we hear that you're expanding then. So what's the what's the plan for 2014 then? Well, Keith has been very yeah. busy with that. Keith has been travelling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been expanding. travelling. I went to Cork last summer and had a meeting down there. That hasn't really kicked off yet. I'm kind of looking for people that maybe have more time to do it. But uh, we have one in Galway now. We set that up last September and that's been going well. That's currently now on every month and there's a regular three or four people going to that. I try and pop down every couple of months and see how they're getting on and yeah. whatnot. And uh, they're kind of they're doing it in Munro's now, which is 
with the live music venue of the year. Yeah, yeah. So that's really so people know where that is down in the west of Ireland. So that's really helpful. So they have a meeting, they chat for about two hours, they take part in an open mic at the end mm-hmm. or afterwards. So that's really good. That's something that we need to sort of cover right, in Dublin. But mm-hmm. hopefully, um, if people could get in touch with us on the Songwriter Club page on Facebook, um, and if anyone has any interest from other mm-hmm. parts of the country, they might get in touch with us to organise uh, meetings down in their place as well. Hopefully mm. some of us will, uh, other people Get will friends. go down to the country and they come to our meetings and whatnot as well. Yeah. And obviously we'll just, uh, we use the Facebook page to inform people on what's going on in the industry. Yeah. Put a list of gigs around the country and yeah. whatnot, and we we'll just we we'll do whatever we can to help people. Yeah, because we like I know last year one of the girls got in touch that was at one of the meetings, and she was saying that only first she'd come, she hadn't realised there were certain competitions open to her and things like that that we'd brought to her attention, and as a result she went through and she got quite far on. I think it was in the hiss, remember, yeah. and she went right through to the. Um, where she her song was selected as one of the possible songs so like there it's great to kind of get feedback like that too that even by just coming together trying to do something where it's a positive thing it doesn't cost anybody any money we're not making any money it's more just a case of sharing information and let, hopefully getting a bit of support system behind us all because obviously the independent music scene is just getting stronger and stronger and i think by having little groups like the songwriter club and connecting around the country joining the dots is just going to in turn just feed into all the other avenues of it as well you know so the best bet then is to go to the face Facebook page yeah. for anyone who wants to get involved all of your upcoming meetings then yeah. will be on there it yeah. would indeed yeah we'd have the Facebook page which, and you know we actually do like have a little uh, YouTube channel that hasn't quite got off the ground but um, that's going to be there and obviously if we get more performances we can put them up there but the Facebook page is excellent because everything that obviously that we share even notices from our meetings today that would go up on the page as well so yeah, yeah. great okay great guys thanks very thanks. much thanks Millie thank you She leave with that guy when both of us know they're just the chattered lines of sad and lonely men. Haven't I seen your face someplace before? Must have been while I was dreaming. Paradise. 